Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to T to Java TV, bringing you T to Java in under five. Today, we're doing a how-to cooking show. I was a little hungry, a little famished, so I said, I'm going to show these people how to cook them some. First, we're going to make us, um, what is this? Um, I guess chicken teriyaki with jasmine rice. All you have to do is get yourself some success bag rice that cooks for like a minute or so. It says four minutes. No, it says a minute. Ten minutes. So it's been cooking for a little bit longer than that because I like my rice to be cooked. Well done. You're going to get yourself some squash. I already cut up some of this, but this is squash and then this is zucchini. No, this is squash and this is zucchini. You cut up like a whole one. I'm going to show you how to cut it up in a few minutes. Get you a one third of an onion. Some mushrooms. Some chicken that you diced up. And chicken breast is always like the best for me. That doesn't have a lot of fat on it. Because I like to cook healthy. And half of a um, bell pepper. So let's get it. I already warmed up my um, pan here. And I've already had the rice cooking. So what I want to do is I want to get the bread. I love making garlic bread. It's like the best thing in the world. So let's get some room. Some regular bread. I use like white wheat. I love white wheat. My grandma has always used it ever since I was like little. So that's been like my favorite. But anywho, get yourself some butter. I use country crock. It makes me feel like I'm healthy. I'm not eating a lot of butter butter, but it's spread, which is good. Oh, 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 I'm making a mess. Spread the butter on the toes. It's very, very, like, extremely simple. Just like you make a regular bread. But the only thing with this bread is, like, you're putting some seasoning on it. That's it. Let me move this out to heat because that's getting a little warm. And what I did in my walk, I just put a little oil. I hope you can see everything that I'm putting up here. This is just regular olive oil, 100% pure. I cook in olive oil. Everything I cook is in olive oil because like it's so, so much better for you. Now with your bread, put a little pepper on it. Oh, that's a new thing of pepper. Try fast, baby. Just a little of the pepper. And garlic powder. And you get yourself some oil paper. And put that on in the oven. I like to put it on the boiler because it cooks a little bit faster. So, and that's always great for me because I don't like to wait forever for some bread or something. I put it on the bottom rack on a little piece of fall paper. That way I know it cooks and it cooks fast and I'll be able to watch it. But I'm going to turn it down just a little bit just in case I get a little beside myself. Anywho, on to the food now. First thing you want to do is make sure that there's a little oil in your pan. Make sure it's all evenly distributed. What I like to do is when it's nice and warm, just take a napkin and spread that oil all around without it getting all over the place. After which, I take my meat. I always, I like this um, chili garlic sauce. It's really, really, really good. You can find it in all your Asian restaurants, Asian dishes, etc. Just put a little of that in there and it gives it a little kick. I like me a little kick in my food. A little, a dab, however much you want. I like this uh, McCormick. It's called garlic and basil. It's really good. Sprinkle a little of that in there. As well as some savory all-purpose seasoning. Notice I'm not using salt. Salt is not our friend here in America. We need to figure that out, but until we do. I also put in a little of the stir-fry sauce. This sauce, baby, when I tell you it's like the best thing in the world, it's the best thing in the world. Mix all that up. Ooh. Put a little garlic powder in there as well. Love that garlic powder. Mix all that up and dump it right on in there. Hear that good old sizzle whistle while that's cooking. 
You want to spread it around in that pan. Let it cook. Make sure that your heat stays on medium. That's always a good thing. Now what you want to do is cut up that onion and those other squash and zucchini and mushrooms. With the onion, I just cut it like straight up in a strip. I like the crunch of a little onion. Now if this is you're cooking this for a date, I would say no onion or limit your onion because of the fact you don't want to kiss anyone and you smell just like onion. That's not cute, not at all. I'm going to dump that right on in that same thing I had that chicken in. Cut up my bell pepper. Notice I have washed everything before. I want to let you guys know that. Everything has been pre-washed. Now we get our vegetables and everything from overseas sometimes. And so you want to make sure that you're washing all that overseas nastiness off of it. Just in case there is any on there. You know, there might be here in America nastiness on some food, but yet and still you gotta be safe with all your produce. Cut your zucchini and your squash. I like to cut it right down the middle and then bust it down the middle again. That way you have four pieces off that one and just cut them all up in little bite-sized cubes. Bust it down the middle. That chicken is smelling pretty good. I also cook that rice, like I said, beforehand. That way, the rice is usually the longest thing that it takes to cook. I'm going to give this a good stir. And I'm cooking on medium, well, medium high. Not medium high, medium low. Once again, bust it right down the middle twice and just cut it in bite-sized pieces. Love squash and zucchini. Oh, it's so, so good. I try to eat healthy, and this is the way I do. Not eating with salt, not eating with a lot of grease. Just some good vegetable oil, some nice veggies with a nice seasoning, and you're good to go. Check on this bread. I'm going to burn that up. That's doing pretty good. With my mushrooms, I like to just turn it top side down and just slice it down the middle. That way you get some good pieces of that mushroom in every bite. Ooh, that chicken smells so good, you guys. And that is it for that. I'm going to pour the rest of that I cut up in there. Rinse this out because that chicken is almost done. What you want to do is cook the chicken and your vegetables separate. Strain off this rice. You think about that. Right. With your vegetables, you want to season it the exact same way. Put a little of that good old hot sauce in it chili, put some of your garlic and basil from the karmic in it. Oh, I might as well put the rest of that on in there. That's going to be good. Put some of that savory all-purpose karmic in there as well. Hit it with some of that garlic powder. And black pepper. Gotta love that black pepper. all that up. Oh, and add a little bit of the extra, well, the all-purpose olive oil. This is all-purpose, isn't it? Yeah, no, 100% pure. All-natural olive oil. Put a little of that good old sweet and sour teriyaki sauce or whatever sauce you want to put on it. Mix that on that. Oh, that looks good, too. Chicken is almost done. If you're like me, you don't want your chicken to be over, overdone. You want it to still have a little saltiness to it, but you want it to still be cooked. Turn that up a little bit. Everything cooks pretty fast. That's one thing I love about this. Don't have to worry about like no wait time. Food's gonna be done. 